This weapon, Corvus Prime, is so good. I cannot explain how good this weapon is. I'm not going to lie. Um, at first, I was a little bit disappointed because the lack of mods they have for Archgun weapons. But, however, it is an amazing weapon. Definitely better than its original weapon. And right here, I'm just going to be showing you guys the relics that you need to get to obtain this weapon, this arch gun. Now, Axie K7 relic has the Corvus Prime blueprint, which I have. The Meso G4 relic has the Corvus Prime receiver, so not bad. Neo C2 has the Corvus Prime blueprint. I'm oh, sorry, barrel, not blueprint, which is rare. And then Lith S12 has the Corvus Prime stock. So this should not be hard to get because there's only one rare, which is the Prime Barrel. And all of them are actually, well, two of them are are uncommon. No, common, and then the one is uncommon, which is the Corvus Prime Blueprint. So this is, should it be actually a hard uh, uh, weapon to get, actually. This is, should be a pretty easy one to go. However, it does seem, it, it is kind of a little difficult here and there sometimes when it comes down to trying to get some of these parts because, well, it's really just all the luck you can get from when you try to do relics and uh, crack and open those relics as well. You know, especially you have a good team to get those parts that you need. But this is best when it's being used by your Necromech. Because of course this is a heavy arch gun weapon, it is going to be the worst weapon to use when you're using it with your Warframe. The kickback on this is very strong, powerful, and there's just like, it's hard to use the charged fire. It's very hard because the kickback is that bad. It is too strong. But, yeah, just use your Witcher Necromech. It's really fun. It's really fun. The damage is actually insane. And I actually did a build on this, so I'll be leaving a link in the description below. So make sure, after you watch this video, go check out that one if you want to have a see a build on this. But, yeah, this weapon is actually really, really good. It's so much better than the original version. When it comes down to using it, I don't, I just can't even think. Is this actually a really powerful one more than the other arch guns that I've seen? I mean, we do have ones that really have explosive damage, which the uh, Kuva Ayega is one I'm talking about. That is a really good one. I love the explosive damage on that one. I cannot lie. It, I don't know if it might come down to be a better one, but... The Corvus actually does a lot of CC though. And when I talk about CC, I'm talking about critical chance. But it does have a good crowd control as well. As well. But, yeah, it's just those two weapons are actually really good. The Mousseline is really good. But, um, yeah, no, Corvus. I would rather go with the Prime version. It has a really good charge rate. You're doing double the damage, more CM, which is crit multiplier. It's just a lot you can do with this state weapon. You know, it's a lot of damage you got onto this weapon. Comparing this to the Kuva Ayega, looking at the stats for this, the Corvus Prime wins for the CC, the higher CC, critical chance, higher critical multiplier. They both have the same status. There's heat damage on the Corvus Prime and not the Kuvaiga. Impact damage is higher on the Corvus Prime. And they don't have a charge shot. But yeah, Corvus Prime wins for that. The Moose Line is pretty much everybody's favorite one. It has more CC, more crit multiplier, more. Uh, nope. Moose Line wins for more status. However, it does not have a second alt fire, but it kind of does act at, at the, you know, same as well. But it does, it's not really more like a crowd control type of thing. 
I think Corvus Prime wins on that one though. I it's it has a better crowd control than Mushlan. But they both do have heat damage for his second all fire, but just Mushlan has a better damage built up because of its insane heat weapon. This is technically a really good heat weapon. This is a rapid fire one. Built in with a second charge alt fire that has a radio attack. So yeah, that's just the difference, but I think I'm going to go with the Corvus Prime on this one. And just others out there, they don't honestly, I don't think they can compete with Corvus Prime, honestly. I mean, Mooslot is a good one, but Corvus Prime wins. Cortag, not bad. Not bad. I think there is some competition with that. However, I think I'm really enjoying just the uh, the. Corvus Prime right now, Corvus, and not really worried about any other Archgun weapon but this one. Let me know your guys' full thoughts on the Corvus Prime in the comments below. Are you really enjoying this Archgun weapon? I'm not gonna lie, a really nice, good, and better version of the Corvus Prime. Really, really good. I like how Digital Sheen increased the CC for this, and all the other stats as well, and definitely throwing heat damage. That was really amazing as well. You know, I think Corvus Prime has got the biggest and greatest stats increase of all time, most definitely, because the original version was not good to me at all. But this one, yeah, you guys did a really good job. Now let's see if you could bring out more better mods for Arch Guns, because damn well we we need it. We need it, at least. But that's all for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.